Welcome back, pilots. Today we are going to be flying the Alpha Jet. It's a pretty little plane. It's the first jet we've flown in the new 3.3 version. Uh, the X button opens the canopy. It's very detailed. Even has a pilot beside you. Looking at the back, we have flaps by opening the closed bracket or open bracket one stop two stops that's all we got and then uh pressing the b button for air brakes we have some fancy air brakes going inside we have a very nice cockpit from which to fly and we will be doing so from inside, but I have a close the canopy, start the engines, set the brakes. We are going to fly in weather. This says that the uh, wind is at coming from uh, 50 degrees at 10 gusting to 18 knots. So this ought to be interesting, especially in this aircraft. We're going to fly up to a thousand feet, 200 knots. Then we're going to turn left to come back to base and land in this uh, wet weather. Release the brakes, get centered here just a little bit. Set the brakes, one stop on the flaps, engines, release the brakes. This plane does not like the crossman. Tracking the gear. Tracking the flaps, you can feel it. All right, the number on the left is our airspeed. The number on the right is our altitude. So I want to get up to a thousand feet. Slow down to a hundred. Eight. Oh. All right. What I had to do there is change from nav to uh, heading so that I'm in control of the the altitude mainly and the direction. So we're now at 200 knots. We can make our left hand turn. Check in. My gears up. My flaps are up. It's a clean aircraft. We're still enjoying some pretty hefty winds. Set this to 267, which is the proper return course. And sometimes what I like to do is on the return, I'll go a little faster. Again, looking around, pressing the uh, number pad buttons. Number eight looks behind. Number two looks ahead. Number four looks right. Number six looks left. Number seven looks forward right. And number nine looks forward left. Or rear, correction, rear right, rear left. Number one looks forward right. Number two, three looks forward left. And I'm watching the radio nav here. Once that picks that up, I'm looking to about five miles out. I'll slow us back down to 200 miles per hour so we can return back to base. Air brakes, or spoilers as they say. Watching the airspeed here and here. Turning back to base.
That's the Morse code identification for our radio nav. I just pressed it for you to hear. All right, we can see in the compass we should be leveling off. We're six and a half miles from the base. I'm going to leave it at 200 knots, but I will click to radio map. Now this will correct, we're off. And because of the wind, it blew us south of the airfield. So now it just pulled us to kind of a northeast. Now it's gonna bring us back to the correct heading. Five miles, I reduce the speed to 150 knots, extend the gear, and go to the first flaps, 50% flaps. Three miles out, I'll go to 125 and go to full flaps. All right, at one mile out, I take command of the aircraft by turning off. I'm gonna go nose up just a little. There we go. Watching my speed, my altitude. I'm mostly just pointing the aircraft in the right direction at this point. I'm going to kill the engine here in just a second. Finger is on the B button for air brakes or spoilers. I'm about pulled up as far as I can. Air brakes. Wheel brakes. And that's kind of tricky in this kind of wind on this aircraft, but we did it. That's the uh, AlphaJet PAF in GOFS. Thank you for watching.